speak as Congress of the people, we stand with Israel. And it's important that we get our voice heard. But before I do so, let me honor the presence of the ambassador and your dear wife, Ambassador Ellie, and all the leadership of the um, Jewish uh, Board of Deputies. I honor you. And that they will forget um, the leader of this church and the leader of Congress of the People in the province of Gauteng, and all the men and women of God, the political parties that are here. I think we've heard a lot about Israel from the biblical perspective. And it's important that we also speak to the normal person and also to the politicians of this nation. In the book of Exodus, I think it's chapter 1, the Bible tells us that there arose a king who did not know about Joseph and what Joseph had done to the nation of Egypt. And I want to take it further to say there also arose a generation at the time who did not know about Joseph and his contribution. In this nation, we are suffering the same fate. There has arisen a generation that does not understand the contribution of the Jewish people in this nation. We have a generation of people that are wearing scarves because there's money attached behind it. But they have forgotten where we come from. I looked through the history books I'm here to find where Palestine, PLO, has contributed to this struggle. You can correct me if you are historians. I've paged through my understanding of our forefathers, from Nelson Mandela, from uh, Chief Albert Lutuli, Walter Sisulu, all those that were in uh, exile, the Chris Hannes, all those that went to fight the Contaway season. I'm waiting to hear about PLO and how they have assisted the people of South Africa. In 1955, when the Congress of the People said, I was very pleasantly surprised to understand when the Congress of the People, where we get our name, COPE, it was different, different um, factions of people from the Indians, colors, Satu, it was South African Communist Trade Union. You know who was the leader of that South African Communist Union? It was Leon, the twin brother of Norman Levy. These were Jewish people who were assisting, fighting side by side with our liberation movement. The Freedom Charter was born out of that Congress. There were six signatories in that, in that Freedom Charter. You know who was the sixth signatory? It was a Jewish Leon. He signed the Freedom Charter, which is the bedrock of our institution. I want you to show me where Palestine is recorded as part of our history and the foundation of our democracy. Because it's important that when trends change, you don't forget who helped you in your need. It was Dennis Cooney, he was a Jewish man, a lawyer, who chauffeured Nelson Mandela when he was in hiding. When Nelson was arrested to go to Robin Island, you must read your history. It was a Jewish chauffeur who was protecting them. Nelson Mandela, Walter Sisulu, and them, they were staying in Lily's farm in Rivonia. You know who owned Lily's farm? It's still there for you to go to history. So besides the biblical perspective that we are looking at, there were serious Jewish lawyers that defended your mother, my mother, your grandparents, that made sure that we birth this democracy. It was the Chapelsons. It was the Easy Mesos. Joe Slovo, who stood when it was not popular. They faced arrest. They faced detention, they lost their lives, they were exiled. They suffered the same pain and identified with us. They identified with our struggle. They identified with mothers who were left without children. But you know the one that struck me the most was Selma. I don't know if you know Selma Browdy. Hmm. Have you heard of Selma Browdy? Because you can't just sing only. You must read so that you are informed. 
so that you fight the struggle that you know. Selma Browde, she was a counselor in the city of Johannesburg, a Jewish woman alone. She fought alone for the electrification of Soweto. That's how Soweto got electricity. So you want to come and tell me today that we must not stand with the Jewish people. I don't care what are the sentiments out there. What is the war looking like right now? I care about the history that I know where I stand. The people that I can point to who stood with us and they continue to stand with us. You know what the problem is with this nation? Lest we forget. Lest we forget. It's easy for money to buy our politicians, to buy our pastors in the churches, and they don't tell the truth. It's easy for us to forget. That's why God said, Moses, teach your children so that they will not forget where they come from. It's our responsibility to teach our young people, to teach the upcoming politicians the history of the struggle of South Africa. It's not written in Palestine. It was not sponsored by Palestine. It was not fought side by side by Hamas. It was fought by the Jewish blood, the Jewish resources, the Jewish mothers and fathers. So let us not be silent on Lucas. Let us not be ashamed to stand. We are being threatened in the city of Johannesburg to be removed as counselors for standing with Israel. We are being threatened. But you know what? It is not...